Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lady Spiden and today we have another very short tour. This one probably won't take longer than five minutes which is a bit rubbish but you know some of these houses are particularly small some of them are much bigger and will take longer so I think this second video took possibly like 14 minutes whereas the others have taken maybe like six <laughs> to do and this one actually has been featured in an update video in the past so some of you may have already seen it but since i was doing this in order of when i uploaded them and built them i thought i might as well shove it in anyway for a quick little mini build and there's my sim self hey me um i'm running around just i don't even know what i'm doing i'm sort of just being a weirdo which is typical of me it's very much me um so if we go down you can see very simple little house, green scheme with grey bricks. Well, it's not like a greeny grey scheme. But yeah, we went for green and grey. That was sort of the outside thing. A few little plants, cute little post box. This house is actually a starter home. It costs like 19,000 something simoleons. So this is probably the only starter home I have ever built. Uh, there's a bit of roof missing there by the looks of it. That's a bit awkward. But I was trying to make it so you could see, like get light from these windows in. But yeah, apparently that took away all of that roof. Awkward much, but I am better at building now. I'm not amazing, but I'm better, so I'd have noticed that and I wouldn't have put that in. But anyway, if we walk in, this one again, like the last one, is open living. So you walk straight in and you've got your little tiny uh, living space. Gosh, my brain wasn't working then. Uh, on that side, and then you have like a little stereo there and your doorway's here. Uh, I might have edited, I must have edited this in the last one because in the last one it had like a computer and stuff that she was working on. But anyway, um, all the lights are off. Woman, I need to see what I'm doing. So if we just get all the lights on, turn on all lights. There we go. So we can see what we're looking at. Thank you. Let me pick it up, put the roof back on. So there we go. That's a bit better. So little kitchen space all the cheapest things little uh, herb boxy type things there little tea pot over there and just a few little decorations and then back over this way there's the little dining area very nice very small uh this is sort of more of a green than a blue <laughs> is what i'm going to go with so as i said there's your little area for your living space welcome wagon music so apparently with guests and then a very small little bedroom apparently i'm talking to a bunch of people over there through that window if you can see me so that's cool uh small little bedroom big painting which i sized up because i was trying to make it seem like there was more art in here than there is very basic nothing fancy again i did that thing with the spada unit putting it with this bed but this time I did it right. I think I even written out, didn't, like, I did it right there, yeah. Look, it fits in, it's central, that's much better. Uh, cute little decorations. I think I designed this sort of for like a starting, uh, it might be a painter. If there's an easel in the back, then yep, or not. Ooh, what do we have in the back? I can't remember. No, we have, yeah, we have an easel. It must have been for a painter or someone starting out as that sort of thing. We have like the little bar area and seating area and a cute little lantern on the floor. And then as I say, you've got your easel over there. And there's a bunch of houses around you which is great uh your garden's quite open so people will probably wander in which isn't the best but, you know whatevs uh yeah so <laughs> very small house very quick tour as i said uh let's see how long was this tour it was three minutes so i might just play for a little bit and maybe use this as the update video again so where am i i'm over here i'm talking to summer holiday this random guy kenny spangler who keeps calling my sims as well uh that's a good name uh Bot pancakes miko the ruckers from one of the last videos so i'm just over there chatting away this might be quite loud it's quite loud for me and that's the house we looked at last time yay so this one is called fresh start oh gosh there's that's the welcome wagon let's meet everyone introduce myself to everyone ah Susan's brought me fruitcake. Anyway, um, as I said, sort of like update video. What was I going to say? What was my update? I can't remember. Oh, yes. Other series that I do. How did Susan get over there? Anyway. Oh, no. I do want you here. Don't hate me. No. They all hate me now. That sucks. <laughs> do I still get to keep the fruitcake? 
Oh yeah, I do. Um, so that's a bonus. But uh, series that I'm doing at the moment, I'm still doing my 100 baby challenge. That one's been probably updated the most. I am still doing my parenthood challenge. It's only got like two episodes, but I am currently editing the third one. I might record the third one again. I don't really know how I feel about it. We'll see once I finish editing it. Um, and Life of Riley will be coming back. I sort of like, I felt a bit overwhelmed, I feel, with that one, which is why in the Hunter Baby Challenge and the Parenthood one, I only have like one starting out sim in Hunter Baby Challenge, obviously, and then in the other one I had like a couple, just the two sims, and then they had a baby. So it's like, to me, that worked out better. Did I pick up the fruit cake? Ah, I did pick up the fruit cake. Cool. Go on me, do whatever you want. Um, so yeah, I felt a bit overwhelmed with Life of Riley because it was so many families and it was my first ever Let's Play so I wanted it to be like amazing and then I felt like it wasn't going the way I wanted it to but I will be going back to it uh, again with like city living sort of I just didn't feel that LP very much. I might try it again, but I might change the name from City Living to something else and try not to focus so heavily on City Living since City Living's like super old now. That's like ages ago. So I might do a sort of like a friends type thing where, you know, you've got like the different households and they all intermingle, but I'd not be so tied down to just City Living based things because everyone knows what goes on in it now. Everyone's seen all of that stuff pretty much. Or there's like really good YouTubers out there who's you can watch like, um, Deli or uh, James on Sim Supply, all of them, great YouTubers, great videos that you can go watch. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel about that one. We'll see what happens with that. Life of Riley will be coming back. The other two still continuing fine. Um, but yeah, I kind of just want to play what I want to play. Like I don't want to try and force myself to do something when I'm not feeling up to it because as some of you may know from past videos I do suffer from anxiety and depression that sometimes affects my recordings and stuff. Also setting up my own business at home, making furniture and stuff, kind of well, like upcycling furniture I will say. I'm learning to make it as well because I think that would be pretty cool to make my own custom furniture. Um, Sidetrack there but because I've got all that going on and uh, we've, my family have sort of like got a second house now that we're going to be renovating and I'm going to sort of be like project managing it if in a way like I'll have to be there for like the electricians or plumbers or anything because everyone else has like different working hours and I'm sort of like working from home so I'm kind of more free. Um, so I'll be doing that which will take up some time but I do love my channel and I do want to keep doing this because I have a lot of fun I like meeting new people through it and talking to you guys and talking to people on Twitter and sharing what I've done and making silly storylines and stuff I find all that really fun I just want to do what makes me happy though and I don't want to feel like stuck in certain things like city living let's play which just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do it's quite hard for me because I feel like my gameplay when I'm on my own is very much goal oriented like I will complete this and they will have a great job and they will have a big family and blah 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 but for YouTube you need to do more like storyline stuff and crazy things and that kind of stuff which is fun I still like doing that but when there's loads of families and loads of storylines going on like in Life of Riley it can become a bit overwhelming sometimes so I will get back to it just give me some time might be in the next week or so when I've got a bit more recording time to do it and uh, expect more house tour videos and eventually more build videos whenever I get time to actually build again because this is sort of taking up the time where like this is sort of like to fill the time where I could be doing build videos like should have build videos up but I don't have the time to build them so I'm doing tour videos of builds that I already had and also as I said in a video previously can't remember which one um, looking back on my old builds to see aspects that I liked, aspects that I'd have improved on if I was building it now to sort of inspire me again and get me going so I can become better. I also plan, just remembered this, in the future, I don't know exactly when, to do uh, Rory Plays The Sims build challenge where she, she's like posted pictures on Twitter and I think they're also on her channel, I'll have to check, I can't really remember, but um, she finds images of houses and their floor plans off of the internet and she gives you a bunch of rules that you have to stick to for each challenge so she can she'll say like you have to keep the floor plan exactly the same as it is in the floor plan like in that one you have to say exactly the same or as close to it as you can in the sims parameters 
uh, but you can change like the outside color or you can do what it like has to be like whatever this style like, kind of thing so that's quite cool so I'm gonna do that and I'll have like a little series like playlist thing to like her it'll be like Rory's build challenges it'll be what it's called or something like that I'll have all that stuff in um, so that'll be quite fun because I really want to do those because I think it'll help me build better I'm talking a lot with my hands and you can't see me but it's what I do apparently so that's a bit weird anyway uh, I feel like I've said everything I need to say if I haven't I'll say it in another video I'm currently recording a ton of them if I can of all these tall ones so I have enough to put up over the next couple of weeks um, but yeah so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>